in other words. Let's uh, skip down now to uh, verse 35, and let's get to this body thing here. Verse 35. Go ahead and read. But some man will say, how are the dead raised up? And with what body do they come? And he's going to tell you about it. We're going to get back to here and deal with man in a little bit. But right now, we're just dealing with Jesus. Skip down to verse 44. Go ahead and read. It is sown a natural body. Uh -huh. It is raised a spiritual body. Wait a minute. It go on the ground one kind of body, and it come up another kind of body. Didn't Jesus tell you about two bodies? That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. That's two different kind of bodies, isn't it? It was even talked about all the way back in the Old Testament. You know, when he, uh, Israel ran down in Egypt, and the Lord said, they the, 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 the get the Egyptian to help uh, keep God off their head. Uh, the, the Lord said, their, their horses are flesh and not spirit. So now what they going to do? They go, you flesh, your horse flesh, and you going to whoop me spirit. Are you going to outdo me? Because that's what they ran down there for, to get the Egyptian, to get God off their head. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you too. So now, you know, you had spirit in the Old Testament, and you had flesh. From the, if, from the beginning of time, it's been that way. Because God is spirit. Then he created the angels, they spirit. Then he finally got around to create man, and he is flesh. So you done had them two bodies from the time that God created man. You had spirit. I don't know how long ago that was. But you done had flesh from the day that he set Adam on this earth. So you done had the two bodies, the flesh and the spirit. Right. Now, he said, uh, 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 it is sown a natural body and it is raised a spiritual body. That's what Jesus had when he came out of the grave. Just so you'll know it's Jesus. Go ahead and read on. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. Uh -huh. And so it is written, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul. Now, who was the first man, Adam? That was Adam. That was in the God. And who was the last man, Adam? Go ahead and read. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. And the last Adam was made a living spirit. That's right. Go ahead. Read, read a little bit more just so you'll know that this is Jesus, this last Adam. Go ahead and read. How be it that was not first which is spiritual, uh -huh. but that which is natural. Go ahead. And afterward, that which is spiritual. Go ahead. The first man is of, is of the earth, earthy. Uh -huh. The second man is of the Lord from heaven. The second man is of the Lord from heaven. Uh, Adam was the beginning of the natural creation, the flesh creation. Jesus was the beginning of the spiritual creation. So there you have it. Born and born again. You know, born of the flesh and born of the spirit. That's two, that's, that's two births, isn't it? Just to show you, again, let's go to Romans chapter 1. And we're going to pick it up at verse 1 this time. Romans chapter 1, and we're going to pick it up at verse 1. 1 and 1. Romans 1, and we'll begin reading at verse 1. 1 and 1. Okay, go ahead and read. Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, separated unto the gospel of God, which he had promised afore by his prophets in the Holy Scriptures, uh -huh. concerning his son Jesus Christ, our Lord, oh, yeah. which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh. That was one birth, right? right? Made of the seed of David according to the flesh. Go ahead and read on. And declared to be the Son of God with power. And declared to be the Son of God with power. Go ahead and read. According to the Spirit of holiness. According to the Spirit of holiness by what? Go ahead and read on. By the resurrection from the dead. By the resurrection from the dead. That's two verses, isn't it? Born of the flesh and born of the Spirit. And really, that is when he became the Son of God after resurrection. And that's when you're going to become the son of God. That's why he said, even now, are you the sons of God, but you are not what you shall be. You know what you are? You are a baby in a woman's womb right now. That's right, right. And in between the time you are born and, and, and in between, there may be a miscarriage. That's right, right. You know what a spiritual miscarriage is? That is when you fall away from the word of God, like we read over there in uh, Hebrews chapter 6. You ain't there yet. 
you might have a miscarriage. Pray to God you don't have no miscarriage, but you ain't there yet. You're on your way, but you ain't there yet. Not quite. Let's go now to uh, let's go now to uh, 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 Matthew chapter 16, and we're gonna pick it up at verse 27. Matthew 16, and we're gonna pick it up at verse 27. <coughs> Jesus told you uh, here about how he looked in his glorified body or in his spiritual body. Matthew chapter 16, and we're going to pick it up at verse 27. 16 and 27. Sixteen and twenty-seven. Okay, go ahead and read, brother. For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with uh, his angels. Go ahead. And then he shall reward every man according to his works. Wait a minute. You know, we're waiting on the Son of Man now, right? Yes. To come in the glory of his Father with his angels. And then, as we have been reading, he's going to reward every man according to his works. Over and over again, he's telling you he's going to reward you according to, to, to your works. And you got people telling you, you ain't got to do no works. And over and over again, he's saying it. He's going to reward every man according as his works shall be. Go ahead and read that next verse. Verily I say unto you, uh -huh. there, there be some standing here which shall not taste of death till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. Wait a minute. Now, every one of them people, they died. But he's saying here, there be some uh, standing here that will not taste of death Till they see the Son of Man come in his kingdom. Son of Man ain't came in his kingdom yet, have Because no, 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 no. he told you, well, in Matthew chapter 25, what he going to do when he come in his kingdom and all the old angels with him, he said, I'm going to set the, the sheep on the right hand and the goats on the left. Right. Yep. And I'm going to put the sheep, say, come ye in into the kingdom and inherit eternal life, and I'm going to tell the goats to go to the fire. Mm -hmm. So he ain't came in his kingdom yet. Right. But he said, but, but all these people that, what he was telling them about a vision of what it's going to be when he does come in his kingdom. Go on into the 17th chapter and pick it up at verse 1. Go ahead and read. And after six days, Jesus taketh Peter, James, and John, his brother, and bringeth them up in, into a high mountain apart. Uh -huh. And he was transfigured before them, and his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment white as the light. But well, that's how the angels look, isn't it? Yeah. Then we read about the angel that was standing there at the grave when the woman showed up. Then they said they they said they they count the shine like the light. Yep. Right. So now he is, you know, he just transfigured himself. He showed you how he's gonna look when he come in his glory. Actually, this is how he looked when he came up out of the ground. Go ahead and read on. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elias talking with him. Then answered Peter and said unto Jesus. But he said there appeared unto him Moses. And he lies talking with him. Go ahead and then answer Peter. Go ahead and read. Then answer Peter and said unto Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If thou wilt, let us make here the three. If thou wilt, let us make here three tabernacles, one for thee and one for Moses and one for Elias. So now, you know, he's just giving them a vision of how he's going to look when he come in his kingdom. But then you had Moses there and you had Elijah there, too. And Moses is still dead, and Elijah is still dead as well. That's right. But now he was just dealing with the future here. But my point is just to show you how he looked in his glorified body. His face did shine like the sun. Because when he came up out of that ground, what did he have? He had a spiritual body, didn't he? Right. Let's go. We read that in, in 1 Corinthians. Let's just skip down to uh, verse 9 so that you will understand that this is a vision. Go ahead and read on. And as they came down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, saying, uh -huh. Tell the vision to no man until the Son of Man be risen again from the dead. So now he said, Tell the vision to no man until the Son of Man be risen from the dead. Let's go to Exodus chapter 34. And we're going to pick it up at verse 28. We're almost there. Y'all ain't got but a little bit more. Exodus chapter 34. And we'll begin reading at verse 28. Exodus 34. And we'll pick it up at <coughs> verse 28. 34 and 28. This is being born of the Spirit. You dealt with the water. And the Lord said, you know, you must be born of the water and of the Spirit. That's born.